this is the energy vibration um, reading for the um, the Libra Sun Moon and Rising sign it is the month of January 2017 and I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is a wonderful wonderful month because some of you are going to be um, using your wit um, to um, remove your we're using your wit to remove your enemies okay and this is good whatever the situation is whatever that is happening it's going to be good in a sense be careful what you do because remember this is a time that you're creating karmas whatever you do is that you're creating karmas. so be careful what you do make sure that you are doing it in um, a positive in a positive way I want to say thank you to all the liberals thank you for your support your likes and share thank you for coming back thank you for thumbs up likes and sharing these videos and for the year 2017 you have been such such a wonderful wonderful um, um, people who have been just supporting my channel thank you so much for you liberals okay we have the energy vibration of the energy of the um, the moon the energy of the moon the energy of the moon this is the energy of the cancer people and this of whatever is happening or whatever is going on you need to understand that this energy of the moon is um, you're using your wit to break and to protect it's, it's, it's as if um, you're standing up to all of your enemies you're standing up to each and every one of them you are just standing up to each and every one of your enemies okay so let's move on and let's see what is happening here okay please um, this is wonderful let's move on and see what is happening here okay so we are going to look at this and um, in the first week because we the energy of this um, month is water water hurt and fire water water earth and fire we have four weeks please remember to go listen to your Sun moon and rising sign okay when we look at the first week it is the and the first week and the third week is going to be uh, and the fourth week is going to be very good for for you um, guys because the first week is the page of sword and the page of swords is that um, this is someone bringing you information or you um, bring in information or you use in information to against your enemies okay and um, be careful what you do I don't think that you should do something like that because it's gonna create karma for you and your kids second week is the night of Pentacles um, you are giving information to someone you're selling you're actually selling out someone and I see I see someone out there a, a, a fat lady she had a girlfriend and she's selling information uh, to someone who's a Taurus Virgo uh, or Taurus Virgo um, or a Capricorn person between the ages of 25 and 45 be careful what you do because trust me whatever you do to this person remember that person that you're going to sell out helped you so be careful what you do because trust me before um, within the next three months you're going to fall in something that you never realized that was going to happen okay so remember what happened to you in the past is going to happen to you again in the present because in the past you did the same thing someone who has been good to you is the same way you sell them out for money and I see this is going to and this is why you're in a position where you are in now because you have done this to many people and you do as if you are a good person but you use information to make money off other people so you friend people and use that information to make money but be careful I'm not seeing something um, that is good and it's not for everyone it's for someone over the age of 40 a woman and she is pretty sneaky so this is not for everyone okay 
um the third week the third week is going to someone is going to be victorious over you because someone is going to use the sword to bring you down somebody's going to use the sword of truth to bring you down so you know be careful what is happening because this sword works on two sides so you guys have to be careful at the end of the day end of the month of january you're going to be happy um be so you know happy nice uh, celebrate so let's see the link between um the first week and the second week the link between the first week and the second week is that you um are going to be lying <laughs> i told you okay thank you oh, thanks to my guides and angel told you i just said it I just said it this woman whoever you are out there be aware of the karma that you're creating because you are about to lie because you have no money this is not for everyone because not everyone is like that but there's a woman out there that is about to lie because she doesn't have any money but they're going to find her out and realize who she is just said it and the ten of swords came up okay so let's look at the second week going on to the third week saw that saw that thank you and let's go on and look at the second week to the third week what is going to happen second week to the third week is the king of wands second week to the third weeks so you have the energy with the king of of ones this energy with the king of ones whether this king of ones is whether this energy is this king of ones um whatever and whoever this energy is with the kings of ones um there is a connection with this knight of pentacles is going to give a message to this king of ones and there is going to be a um you know you have message you think you have information that is going to help this person but he's gonna realize you know I know this all so and they he's gonna realize that you're not really afraid <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on here so let's look and see because the third week is going to be good let's look and see what is happening between the third week and the fourth week the lovers the energy of the lovers so thank god that changed because i was seeing something that is happening out there so between the third week and the fourth week there is a situation with the lovers and the people who are in love is going to be very 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 happy this is going to be good for the people who are in love for the people who are you know really connecting and this is going to be good if you're in a relationship with someone who is a fire, um, a fire sign? Someone who is an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarian. This is going to be a, vin, a, a, a really good connection. Um, is a, is, is, is a, a connection with intellects, but not with love. Okay, so and let's let's see what what is happening there. Oh, I, I don't really want to go back to this woman and give her any light because the tower is going to fall. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. But okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm serious, serious now with you Librans. Stop using things. Okay. I'm going to explain something to you people whatever you do against someone who has been very kind just just one thing because this is karma this is karma this is this time is just karma people who hurt people who have been very kind and have a clean open heart it's going to tumble down on you it's it's, it's just the law of the universe it's a law of the universe that's when someone is being very kind to you and you turn around and sell them out or stab them in the back or whatever it is it, the tower is it, like the universe come in and said what a what what kind of a person you are okay it can be other some because not everyone is like this but i'm telling you whether this woman was whoever that you are you know yourself you listen to it this you're listening to this video because this message is for a woman out there and um, you are in a position that 
um, you are going to think that you have information to use but it's information that they already know so what is going to happen is that it's going to tumble down okay and your son is going to look at you very very bad the energy of the Sun comes out so for the people who are in love this is a wonderful wonderful I'm loving this what is happening here for you guys so let's let's look and let's go forward and see what is going to be the outcomes for the liberants in this week balance the hurt sign so the the, the, the the earth sign number 14 comes out balance comes out you need to balance you or the you have two swords you need to balance because whatever is happening you're not balance yourself you're so out of balance people who are balanced don't look and to sell out other people people who are in balance again people who are in balance do not People who are in balance have unconditional love. Whatever may happen and whoever may turn their backs on them, whoever, they just keep on and continue. They will also love that person and think, you know, that's the person they have to go on their journey. But people who are on balance, and this is it, the energy of this week, this month for you guys is balance. You need to have balance in your life. You need to um, understand what is going on around you you need to have balance because if you think you are breaking down and you know tearing up your enemies you're not doing that you're doing it to yourself what what is much better to do is to call upon the universal angels and guides to come in and heal whatever the situation is and not to think that you can do something to someone else okay Ace of Sword, Ace of Sword. This is wonderful. Whatever is happening here, the energy of the Ace of Sword. Whoever this woman is that I'm speaking to out there, you know yourself. You have a son that is 25, between the ages of 25 and 45. You have a son who is between the ages of 25 and 45. And you are giving information to the this. You, you're, you're giving the, the son information to give to someone who is a man over the age of 40 you think that you're smart <laughs> you think that you're smart so you are given um, information you're giving your son information to give to this man who is uh, um, 40 and over and then what is happening is that uh, um, this your son have no respect for you your son really despise you he despise you there is going to be something that is going to happen that the whole tower exactly what you have done is going to um, um, uh, blaze up because what he's going he's looking at you doing this and he's thinking to himself I'm going to let you fall your own your own child because he have known you for so long and see you do these things and he thinks I'm gonna let you fall this person this a lot of you are going to have situations to deal with um, someone over the age of 40 that is an Aries and Leo or a Sagittarius this this um, is going to be happening for a lot of you that you have a situation that you're dealing with um, someone who is over the age of um, 40 and it's a man or a woman whatever that you're doing it's it, it's gonna blow up in the, your face it's, it's really 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 going to blow up in your face because here is the energy of the tower it's going to blow up in your face and then a balance is going to come so be aware of what you're doing let's go on a good note for all the wonderful nice people um, <laughs> um let's let's the, the 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 good people what is happening here is that if you have a situation with someone who is a fire sign because um somehow a lot of you are going to be dealing with fire sign people if you have a situation with a fire sign happiness and love is coming some people are going to find the balance the Sun is going to come out with your relationship so people who are in a relationship this is um, wonderful this is a nice balance the Sun is going to come out and 
the relationship is going to be good so for the um, the liberals who are in relationship you're going to be happy finally you are in the right relationship and you're going to be so happy um, your focus is going to be on this relationship and it's going to be wonderful so nothing to worry about that if um, um, a couple out there has been having a situation with either your parents one or two of your parents or um, you had a situation with someone who is a Aries Leo or a Sagittarius you're going to triumphant over this okay and you're going to be happy so let's say that you had a situation um, with um, um, a, 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 a father-in-law a mother-in-law um, someone who you were dealing with uh, this situation you're triumphant over this situation and the tower is going to break down so for the people who has been dealing with the Aries the Leo and the Sagittarians you're going to win this situation and the tower finally is going to you know there's going to be an explosion of whatever that is happening as we look at the energy um, with the night the night of Pentacles someone who is 25 um, the energy with the night of Pentacles if you are 25 uh, between the age of 25 and 45 and you're in a relationship or because if your son have a relationship with and your son is um, the Knight of Pentacles. If your son is 25, uh, between the ages of 25 and 45, and he has a relationship with someone who's a fire sign person, they're going to be happy. They are going to be happy at what happened to you. So be aware of what you're about to do because your son is going to be happy and he's going to be moving um, away with his partner and they are going to be happy and leaving you behind in whatever a situation that you have created for yourself oh so for whoever you are whoever you are um, you know for most of you who are in relationship for most of you who are in relationship with fire sign people it's just gonna be wonderful it's gonna be positive it's gonna be powerful it's gonna be good because um, it's as if this is the relationship that you have been waiting for and finally you are happy that you have chosen this relationship okay and it's, it's as if um, someone um, have introduced you to them and it is the best thing um, that ever happened I you know I <laughs> I really don't want to look at the side of the reading because I, I saw that coming um, for whoever you are and this is um, for a woman or a man it could be a woman or a man but I'm seeing the energy of a woman you you know you have to take a really good look at yourself um, whatever is happening with you it's a sad situation but you need help um, and, and, and for the rest of the people it's a wonderful wonderful reading especially people who are having um, a relationship with fire sign people and that sort of a thing uh, you have meet your perfect match it's a happy ending um, for people who are in relationships a very very happy ending um, a lot of people are going to be feeling ecstatic the energy of balance comes out and this is good because this energy of balance is also the third week of the the general readings which is the general energies it's a third week so balance came in we're gonna move on to the zodiac energy and let's see what we have for the fire the sun sign people we have the um, Leo's coming in I did say it and we have the Gemini's mm -hmm. and for the moon we have Neptune and we have 
um, Venus okay so let's take a, a further look at this because for the Sun people we have the energy vibration for the Sun people we have a wonderful energy vibration of the Leo's coming in the Leo's are here and we have the Gemini's the Leo's and the Gemini so a lot of people will be connecting with the Leo's which is and that I said if you are with a Sun sign person you know you're connecting with a Leo's and a Gemini you Sun people and they're coming in to help you guys at the end of this so look out for a lot of um, Leo and, and Gemini's who will be coming to balance the Sun people off and this is good as we look at the moon people the energy of the moon people we are seeing with the energy of the moon people we are seeing the energy of Neptune and with the energy of Neptune we have Venus so um, Virgo Virgo is that Virgo let me put my glasses on so um this is going to be wonderful um, whatever is happening um, Luna and Venus so um, for the moon people you're going to be working with your intuition and guidance and you are going to see that Neptune and Venus um, Venus is a planet of love and, uh, and Neptune is the planet of the unseen world that you're connecting with your spirit guides and angels and this is going to be wonderful there is going to be wonderful situation that is coming in and this is going to be good okay so that is it for you guys this is um, wonderful okay as usual uh, the wisdom of the Oracle is like one of my favorite favorite decks um, it's like my grandma um, my grandmother is speaking through these energies I love this deck so much um, and uh, um, if I can get them uh, up so last energy that we oh my gosh that we have so um you guys receive why why okay so there is a question why and not to worry okay so I want to say um, namaste until next time listen to your sun when arise and sign mm -hmm.